free rigs or free tactics that are well worth trying this spring. So to explain each one of them, one by one, starting off with the ever faithful Zig. Now with Zig fishing, I find that you always wanna start as high up in the water as you possibly can. Now the reasons behind this is so that you can work the depths. If you were to start at the bottom, Obviously, you'd have to re-tie zigs, but where you're starting at the top layer of your pond, you can then take a little bit off every hour, re-chucking out there, and then you can work the depths by taking a little bit off at a time. Now, when it comes to the flavors of the zig world, obviously, little bits of foam are perfect. Now, we do packs where we have each different flavor of foam, so each different color, as well as that, you get different varieties of zigger liners as well. Now hook wise for myself, I like to use the size eight zig and float hook. They're not too big and they're not too small. They sit absolutely perfectly inside our zigger liner and with the bit of foam lying across the back, they're very, very inconspicuous and look just like a bug sat up in the water. The hook link that I like to use as well is our zig and floater hook link and that is in the 12 pound version. Moving on to the next rig, singles. Now chucking out singles, always worth changing your colours again. A bit like with your zig fishing, changing from pink, white and yellow. They're the three colours that I absolutely love to use and I like chucking out a Ronnie. Now most of you would have seen how to tie Ronnies and they need no introduction into the fishing well. Plenty of us are chucking them about. Now for me personally, hook wise, I like using a size six wide gape long shank. For the material that I like to use, our link hook link in 25 pound. Now that is a crimpable material as well. So you want to use our small crimps with that. And that is a devastating tactic throughout the spring. And for the final setup, my personal favorite in the springtime, solid bags. Now this is a rig that has done me so, so many big fish, especially in the springtime. And for me personally, what I like to put inside my solid bag is a little bit of crayfish mini mix pellets and some pinkies, fluoro pinkies as well. Something a little bit different that not most people use. A lot of people tend to use maggots, but with them little fluoro pinkies, they, they've got a very sort of sweet aroma to them and they are a devastating tactic, especially fished in a solid bag. Now hook bait wise, you can either use the ever faithful bit of plastic or a 10 mil pop up inside your solid bag. And the hook that I like to use is a size two wide gate beat. Then hook link material, that is 35 pounds naturals soft braid. And then what I'm using are impact leads, which obviously there you can see the rig comes out dead center of the lead. And I'm using our drop off system with that, as you can see like so. So if you'd like to see how I exactly tie this solid bag rig and the lead set up, then check out the video right here. But that's a look at the free tactics that I love to use whilst in the springtime.